the MV Commercial British Truck Racing Association Championship 2019. Hello and welcome along to Snetterton Circuit for the anti-penultimate event in the 2019 MV Commercial British Truck Racing Association Championship. Plenty of news for you, so let's go down into the paddock and find out what's happening. Before we go to the paddock, qualifying shaped up like this. David Jenkins on pole in Division 1 from Ryan Smith, Richard Collett, the superb third. Then Mark Taylor from Georgia, the Division 2, Paul Rivette set the pace of qualifying. Power second championship leader Luke Garrett in third with John Bowler in fourth. David, congratulations on pole position. Splendid start to the meeting. Yeah, yeah, we were um, we had a difficult day yesterday with the mixed conditions in testing and then we were doing some tyre evaluation and bits and pieces. So uh, really pleased with that performance and qualifying, yeah. The race fans just see the, the two days racing, but there's a lot more goes on, you know, in, in the engineering workshop before you get here, plus testing and then a gruelling weekend. Yeah, we've had a particularly mixed up week this week. We've um, obviously with my sponsorship involvement with MV Commercials and uh, and the ever improving relationship with Ryan next door at the moment. We uh, have ended up prepping all three trucks this week, Ryan's, Tom's and my own and uh, with engine changes and, and uh, engineering changes and all sorts of things. So uh, we've had a very busy week this week. Ryan Smith, championship leader and a big story this weekend, a different truck. Yeah. Um... Tom O'Rourke at MV Commercial has kindly uh, lent his truck to still compete in the MV British Truck Racing Championship. So a uh, big thank you to Tom O'Rourke and his team. Uh, they've made sure we got on track and uh, yeah, we've just been out in qualifying a little bit different to what we used to and a few teething problems. But uh, Dave Jenkins just did a, did a good job in uh, qualifying. So yeah, we've got a little bit of a fight this weekend, I think. So, uh, you know, we've got a new truck that'll be out next week and uh, it's exciting times, especially for the British Truck Racing Championship as well. So, bit, apart from a bit of man flu, today would have been a perfect day. But uh, again, a massive thank you to Tom O'Rourke at MV Commercial for putting us on track this weekend. Division two boys hit the tarmac first. It was a great start by Steve Powell. Four of it dropping back. Problems though, they came through the hairpin for the first time. John Bowler got the lead initially, then dropped back. Steve Powell taking the win. John Bowler second, four of it third. In Division 2, good start by David Jenkins, but it was championship leader Ryan Smith who worked his way through very quickly to take the lead. As Ricky Collett, having qualified third, had his problems. Smith taking the win, David Jenkins in P2. Steve, that looks like hard work on, on this circuit, but a great win, well done. Yeah, I quite enjoyed it. I, I never used to like it, because it is good here. We had a few years here where we were just well competitive, and it's a long way to be driving around mid-drift and not battling with anyone. So uh, we've done where we were last year, so we knew we had a good chance. Uh, he was a bit lucky on the start with Paul and uh, John outbroke himself, so really good starts on the weekend. On to the second race for Division 2, the partially reversed grid race. It means that the front of the grid, we have Simon Cole with Brad Smith, then Eric Forston and Luke Garrett, Adam Bids and Paul Rivette, row three, John Bowler and Steve Powell, one and two in race one, starting on row four. John Powell, Jim Bennett and Trevor Martin back on the grid in this one, so all 11 trucks are getting ready to race. Away we go, good start by Trevor Martin at the back, but it's Simon Cole that leads Luke Garrett around the outside line, Eric Forstrom in orange and white, his third as they go down to Riches. This is coming up towards the corner where we have the shenanigans on race one. Luke Garrett is clear of that. Paul Rivette is in second place. A great start from the Tacosis truck, which goes very, 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 very deep into the hairpin. And Simon Cole back into P2. But oh, Paul Rivette gets his foot down on the dirt. Comes back, I think, maybe clattered Steve Powell there, who's dropping back. Steve Powell was looking quick the winner of race one starting in eighth place for this one this has left luke garrett clear and down the road the championship leader 
has a 47 point lead. Steve Powell managed to take four points out of that in race number one, but it doesn't look like Steve's going to be able to repeat that in this one. And it's unusual with this being the reverse grid race, seeing Luke Garrett starting towards the front. Brad Smith up ahead of Paul Rivet. Adam Finn was good value in race number one, getting very sideways, especially here. Runs a little bit wide, but not sideways as he was in race number one. So maybe his truck a little bit more stable side by side here Brad Smith on the dirt not good for him Paul Rivette going through Binti now challenging Brad Smith but Paul Rivette going through and, and running well there's Jim Bennett in the number 28 started outside of the reverse part we used to reverse the whole grid but now it's the top eight that gets switched around I think Jim doesn't mind that too much talking to him earlier on in the meeting Simon Cole passed by Paul Rivetta being left and Simon Cole slowing dramatically. The beast is not behaving herself again. Simon Cole, such a shame to see. Had a finish in race number one, but Simon Cole looks like it's curtains for him. Paul Rivette, bodywork flapping on the 22 truck. Brad Smith next, then Steve Powell coming back into it after the little bit of contact on the way out from the hairpin. Having a, a good nibble here, Brad Smith is on the inside line. I think he's going to make it, or is he? No, Brad gets a faster sweep into Gorham and maintains the position. This is why we love the reverse grid races. Look at Luke Garrett, he's steaming away with this one. Luke did seem a little bit under the weather in race number one, was involved in that skirmish going up towards the hairpin but recovered to finish, had a good fifth place finish, which is valuable points for him. As the two bonneted trucks get stuck in, Eric Forstrom, the Finnish driver, having a look on the outside line of former champion Adam Bint. Comes Paul Rivette across the line, Steve Powell makes up another place, Powell are running well here, then Brad Smith, Forstrom still dicing hard with Binti, and I think Eric's got that move done, he's clear, he's up ahead of the black bonneted truck. So some really good action going on to sort the field out here. See Trevor Martin at the back of shots. Trevor had a bit of a problem. Lost a bit of time. Certainly been struggling with his motor this weekend uh, so far. Didn't make it out for race number one. But if he finishes here, he'll, he'll bag at, at the very least five points. It'll be six now, won't it? Because we've lost Simon Cole having had issues. Here is Luke Garrett, though, the race leader. He's got away. John Bowler second. Paul Rivet in third. Steve Powell fourth. And then a little bit of a gap back to Brad Smith in fifth place in the 11-point slot. Championship-wise, a point between Bowler and Rivette. And John Bowler will extend that again, unless Paul Rivette gets the fastest lap, in which case he will. He's on the fastest lap at the moment. We've watched Trevor Martin coming through for him. Trevor in the Scania and having a little bit of a, a lonely time of it at the moment. One of the older trucks in the championship goes along centre straight, but still working hard to try and pick up the points as Luke Garrett comes through Nelson Corner, heading down towards Bommel, careful not to run too far. Track limits being an MSV circuit being watched as the, uh, there's the 41 truck parked up. Steve Powell, fourth place at the moment. So Powell will a winning race one. On the timing screen, he's got the pace to catch Paul Rivette. So, Rivette and John Bowler, the men who are looking like the most consistent, Cal running a little bit wide there, fires up some dirt. Luke Garrett continues on his way in the lead, goes out of shot. John Bowler second. There is the black and light blue truck, the Taco Sis WDE Motorsport prepared machine of Paul Rivette. And then Steve Powell in four. This to me looking relatively settled. We've got Brad Smith in fifth place. It's unusual to have a... And now we've got Adam Bint back in front of Eric Forstrom. John Powell is next after a problematic race one where he had a pit stop. So John's going to be on for a few more points in this one. On to the last lap. It's Paul Rivette with the fastest lap. That was on the last tour. But the championship leader, Luke Garrett, who I've got to say has not looked in dominating form, has... I mean, how can you say that, actually, thinking about it? Because he's, he's a good seven seconds clear. But in terms of the overall weekend, he's not looked at his strongest, but he's still picking up points, Luke Garrett. Steve Powell in fourth. 
still trying to close in on Paul Rivet. Rib's got the fastest lap, another podium for him. Riv, remember, trying to get up into fourth in the championship. He's got John Bowler ahead of him. That battle, I think, is going to continue throughout the weekend. Binti up ahead of Eric Forstrup. Eric running in seventh place. John Powell not that far behind as well. A reminder, sadly, for Simon Cole that the beast is parked up, couldn't make it back to the paddock, which is a major shame. I hope that's not terminal and that we see him out for the remaining two races. But the reigning champion, Luke Garrett, very much on his way to a reverse grid race win. Steve Powell will again in fourth position. The gap will go back to 51 points as it was coming into the meeting. So Steve's hard work in race number one to try and close in on this man. Luke Garrett is very much undone. Garrett Man, Bradstock Garrett, Truck Sport MAN on its way down towards the chequered flag along centre straight. John Powell still busy trying to close in on Eric Forster, but there's the win. Luke Garrett takes the win. Second position a wee way back in the 14 machine is John Bowler. Another great result for John Bowler takes second. Paul Rivet on the podium again for third. Cracking race then for the Division 2 boys. Luke Garrett takes the win. John Bowler second from Paul Rivet, Steve Powell, Brad Smith and Adam Bin. Eric Forster, John Powell, Jim Bennett and Trevor Martin complete the finishers. For some reason, I'm a little bit off the pace right now at the moment. Um, I don't really know why, so I know I had to get in front as fast as I could, so I just tried the best I could to get to the front. You could see them in the mirrors, but I see they weren't gaining on me, so I just backed off a little bit, obviously just trying to uh, preserve a little bit of the tyres and uh, yeah, look after look after the truck. Yeah, no, I'm dead happy with that. We were, I, I think the lads were through on the walks, so we were gaining on him. But, um, yeah, good result, both races. Yeah, so the start was fantastic, you know. Um, Luke got a great start in front of me and, I, and uh, I managed to wind the boost up on the Takas' truck, follow him around the outside at the first corner and uh, we were 1-2 heading down to the hairpin but the only problem I had then was I just couldn't stop it. Almost ran wide off the circuit and uh, as I was coming back round, I think tagged by someone from behind, it was sideways one way then the other and uh, yeah, managed to come home in third so uh, and fastest lap again. So considering the issues we've got, I'm really happy actually with the results. Tom, fantastic to see you here, but a, a different truck to where we saw you at Donington Park. Yeah, basically, uh, Ryan Smith, uh, the British Champions truck, come up for sale. And again, there's a shortage of Group 1 trucks in the paddock, and I was nervous that it would go abroad. Um, uh, and of course, it takes a, a bit of time to, to build these things. So I bought it, and part of the deal was, again, I get a wee shot of it at Penbury, so, and. It comes out a corner faster than mine and it just felt a bit more comfortable. So I bought it um, essentially to um, improve my own, you know, um, uh, driving ability. How are you finding the overall learning experience of truck and track? I was quite pleased this morning. There was only half a second between the, the last five drivers, you know, so we all seem to qualify within two minutes, 28 seconds. Uh, so um, generally quite happy at this level of truck racing. Race two for Division One, the first of our reversed grid races. And it is Ryan Smith, race one, we're going to start to get the back, the front of the grid, the man we've just heard from, Tom O'Rourke, on the outside of the front row, Ricky Collett to his inside, Mark Taylor and Ray Coleman row two, then John Newell and David Jenkins, Ryan Smith, as we said, completing the grid. But in yellow, pole man Richard Collett, who qualified third this morning, so looking pretty good, as down the inside line goes Mark Taylor on the inside of Tom O'Rourke, right round the outside goes Ray Coleman challenging for second place, Coleman I think has got second, yes he has, so it's Collett, Coleman, Mark Taylor in third place, Taylor is third in the championship remember, in towards the hairpin, Richard Collett was looking very good in this part of the circuit in race number one, managed a couple of passes, looks very good there again, as at the back of the grid we've got the two MV commercial owned machines and it's Ryan Smith getting up ahead of Tom O'Rourke. Tom did a super job in race one 
his best lap time, eight tenths quicker than he managed in qualifying. So really learning the machine well, a little bit of sideways momentum or movement, we should say, from Ray Coleman, who is in second place. Coleman harrying Richard Collett as they come down to Agostini. I think Taylor is going to be passed by Jenkins on the inside line. The Digraph Fire machine goes through on the inside line. Richard Collett is under attack from Ray Coleman, who goes through in the lantern number two chart. Coleman through to the lead, our second different leader. Richard Collett down to second. Third is David Jenkins. Fourth place, Mark Taylor. Taylor will be looking in his mirrors because John Newell is there, the man challenging him for third in the championship, particularly coming into this race. Remember, Newell had two, two of the four points now as Coleman goes wide. Collett's back in front. There's a gap. David Jenkins sees the gap, dives for it, can't quite do it, backs out of it, wants to bring the truck home on track. Very nearly had enough momentum to go through, but it's... Ray Coleman in second place, David Jenkins third, and Richard Collett, the race leader. Superb shot as they come along the Bentley straight. Coleman looking like he might have a, a good go on the inside line, but as Collett turns in, you can see that he's ahead. And now around the outside goes Dave Jenkins, which converts to the inside line for Nelson. So well read by David Jenkins, a classic piece of truck racing from the former champion. Goes through into P2, Coleman next up. Now on the inside line of his teammate goes Ryan Smith past Mark Taylor and that's going to open up the door for John Newell to try and go through as well. Taylor nips across, grabs the line before Newell can make hay in the sunshine there. And that battle is all about third place in the championship between those. But it's Collett out front, Dave Jenkins in town. We're going to see a Rick Collett win here. Jenkins looks like he's on a bit of a mission though to be fair out of Murray's, a long centre straight, very slightly uphill, then there's a brow about halfway along the main straight, and then it's a, a slight downhill run again, in towards Richie's, the first corner, the right-hand bend, virtually 90 degrees, but it's got a fair flow to it, which means that you can, if you're brave enough, pull off a, a pass around the outside line, as we saw Ray Coleman doing on, on lap number one. Then it's a, a short straight run down to the Wilson hairpin, used to be known as Montreal, but renamed and out of respect to the late great single seater racer Justin Wilson now as up into the lead got his nose in front but the outside line beckons at Palmer that's Dave Jenkins in black challenging for the lead in yellow it's Richard Collett still there but Dave Jenkins that was another great move a second move around the outside line Dave Jenkins does not care for racing protocol about you know the old boys of racing will say it's not the racing line you need to go inside Jenkins doesn't care about that two passes both for podium positions, both on the outside line, one into Brundle, one into and out of Palmer corner. As Ray Coleman is passed now by Ryan Smith, John Newell still all over the back of Mark Taylor, Newell in the blue 18, and then Tom O'Rourke not being left by these guys either. Remember, this is Tom O'Rourke's third meeting in the Truck Championship, made his debut at the Nürburgring away day in Germany, raced with us at the convoy in the park, but this is his first meeting in, in the new truck, so he's familiarising himself with the new truck, which you heard in the interview he was very, very happy with before he went out to race. And doing superb work, the MV Commercial boss, to support the British Truck Racing Association Championship for this year. Very much appreciated by everybody in the paddock. So David Jenkins, the leader, and has pulled out a big advantage already over Richard Collett in second place. So Collett's thoughts of a win, I think, have gone out of the window now. And with that white number one menacing him, he'll be worried about maybe losing out on second place if not, perhaps on a podium, because Ray Coleman's behind him. Remember, Collett's seen off Coleman once so far in this race, so we need to focus on the number one of Ryan Smith, championship leader, to 306 points, playing 277 second place in the series, David Jenkins at the moment, and Ryan won't want to lose a single point to Dave Jenkins out front. Ryan setting some good lap times, but it's the Diagraph high ab track of Jenkins who is still there. Collett not making life easy here for Ryan Smith, and I know Ryan will welcome the return to form for Rick Collett now as John Neal challenges the third place man in the championship side by side along centre straight. Job to know where to look here because we've got Rick Collett still defending. Ryan's going to have a look up the inside line, goes back to the sweep. This is to gain momentum on the exit of the corner as much as anything. Collett, I think, perhaps going a little bit wide there. Still got the Taylor's truck in the mix as well, up ahead of John Newell. We'll watch Rick Collett now under pressure as they come in towards the hairpin. Ryan Smith still in third. Dave Jenkins still a little way ahead now. And there's a little nibble of the inside line here and more momentum for Ryan Smith who grabs the inside on the exit of the hairpin. It's the outside run here. This is where we saw Dave Jenkins go ahead of Richard Collett, but 
Richard Collett a little bit more determined this time, and Ryan Smith just can't quite get that number one white truck through. Now switches, looks at the inside line. This is potentially a classic snap pass. No, he's given up on that. Runs wide, coming down into Agostini. Is he going to try the outside line or go for the cutback on the run up to Hamilton? Get a better exit of the corner. That doesn't work either, and Ray Coleman's coming in the mix, although now it does, because Ryan Smith's got a good foot in the door as they go into Hamilton. Smith grabs second position from Richard Collett. Collett down to third. Ray Coleman will be up and challenging him, but that was hard work for Ryan Smith. That's why he is a double champion in truck racing. Ryan Smith did all the hard work. He kept at it. He would not let sec second position get away from him and eventually makes it play getting past Richard Collett, who, remember, he's, he's still running in third. That's where he qualified in the first track session of the weekend. So he could still have the confidence to take third place, even though he's got Ray Coleman right behind him in the lantern number two. John Newell is next up. So John Newell looking pretty handy, up ahead of Mark Taylor at the moment, maybe to claw that gap in third in the championship table down to a solitary point here at the moment. Could equal him if he got the fastest lap, but the fastest lap of the race is going to be between, I think, realistically, David Jenkins and Ryan Smith. And the battle is on for the lead because Smith has caught Jenkins and he's all over the back of him. Superb race going on in between these two. And how on earth did Ryan Smith get that gap down? This is not a familiar truck to him, but they've been working on it over the course of the weekend, working on the setup. And now he's got the inside line, doesn't work. Jenkins lips across. And now we've got Ryan Smith to the outside line as they come along the straight to the flag and Jenkins takes the race win. Jenkins the winner, Ryan Smith in second. Third place, a little way back, is Richard Collett, a return to the podium for the 95 truck. That's going to be good news for truck racing. Mark Taylor is next up from Ray Coleman. And then it is Tom O'Rourke, John Newell back in seventh. Confirmation of the result, the extra point for fastest lap in that one going to Ryan Smith, who's just picked for the win. Great, great to see you back on the podium. Tell us about that race. Oh, yeah. Well, obviously starting from four, I had a, a good advantage, but uh, I couldn't keep Ryan or Dave behind. I tried, but uh, they, they just got that little extra on me. I don't know. Uh, need to work on that now. Good to get some mileage out of the truck, though, and podium mileage is even better. Yeah, yeah, but mileage on the truck, you're right. Uh, after Donington's uh, disaster, uh, yeah, we're running sweet again now, so hopefully we should have more podiums now. The third Division 2 race about to get underway, and this one is fastest off the front, so the grid positions were qualified for. Paul Rivette making it a double pole. Steve Powell to his outside. Luke Garrett and John Bowler on the second row of the grid. Decent lead in the championship for Luke Garrett, 50 points. He starts on row two of the grid on the inside in the green and white 42. But here we go, lights out. And John Bowler bowling down the outside line of Steve Powell. It's going to be three wide into Riches. Is this going to end in tears, we ask ourselves? And at the moment, they're all OK. That was great truck racing from the field. And it's pole man Paul Rivette leading John Bowler second. Luke Garrett in third place. Adam Bint dicing for fourth with Steve Powell, who guns down the inside line. Powell, the race one winner, second in the championship. I tell you what, Binty's got his nose in front here, trying to run around the outside line. Good racing from Adam Bint. Gets the better of Steve Powell, who drops back just a little bit as they come out of the hairpin. Binty with a great view of Luke Garrett. Three champions in together there, Luke Garrett, Adam Bint and Steve Powell. Yes, it? so it's good to see it's Paul Rivette out front. John Bowler, what a start it was from John, and all over the back of him at the moment is Luke Garrett. Luke jinks to the inside line, has a look, hard on the brakes, doesn't feel there's room, doesn't want to lose any of that 50-point lead that he's got. Remember, if he had a non-finish, potentially that's 15 points out of the... It doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a, it would be a fair old dent in that championship league disappearing. If he doesn't make a pass, it's only a single point loss because it's one point per place. But he'll just bide his time, work out where perhaps he is quick enough to maybe have a go at John Bowler as the race progresses. Binty still in fourth. So coming down towards Williams' corner again, Luke Garrett, you can see the, the uh, cab body language of the truck. He's really going for it. You saw him locking up hard on the brakes down into Agostini earlier on, rather than go for the lunge down the inside line of John Bowler. More for you from Snet after the break.
Here's the battle then for second place. Luke Garrett still chasing John Bowler, and this is really taking the pressure off Paul Rivette. Garrett's going to have a look down the inside line as it comes to Riches, but John Bowler's got it covered again. He does not want to let the championship leader through, and this is bringing Adam Bint into the mix as well. Eric Forstrom chasing Steve Powell. Then it's Brad Smith, Trevor Martin in eighth place. Luke Garrett under massive pressure now from Adam Bint. Binty having seen Garrett appear in front of him. Luke dropping away, runs a little bit wide there. Rare mistake from Luke Garrett. Binty not quite close enough to get past. Still got Luke Garrett. Well, Luke still having the momentum there as they go down into Palmer, which is where they are now. But the race leader is Paul Rivette. John Bowler trying to close down it. Now, has Luke Garrett dropped back or has John Bowler pulled away? And possibly closing in. Steve Powell is passed by Eric Forstrom. Powell drops the place. Eric Forstrom coming through. Eric having a good run in the Sisu, the Finnish driver. And Steve Powell not looking as sharp, sadly, as he did in race number one. He's got Brad Smith right behind him now as Luke Garrett has, has now dropped Adam Bint again. But you can see there's a, a little bit of a gap. Between and going off wide again. Luke Garrett is off on the dirt. Binty nips through on the inside line. Luke Garrett not looking happy this weekend. Binty was there and pops through on the inside line. So it's Paul Rivette leading. John Bowler is in second place. And now Adam Bint is up into third. Eric Forstrom fourth. A changing complexion to this race. The leaders come down towards us. So it's Rivette, John Bowler is closing, there's no doubt about that. Bowler is closing in on Paul Rivette and he's setting very fast lap times. Problems for Steve Powell, who is slowing up, it's a shame to see. Luke Garrett, though, continues on. He was fifth in race number one, Luke Garrett, took a win in race two. By his own admission, the truck not as sharp as it has been at previous meetings, but yet he is still banging in those point scoring finishes, and that's going to be absolutely key to the championship, particularly with the likes of Steve Fowl struggling, possibly heading towards a retirement. We'll have to wait and see. John Bowler trying everything to close in on Paul Rivette. Here we come. Center straight and across the line. It's Paul Rivette. Still there, John Bowler. Trying to hunt him down and close down. Marginally the quicker driver of the two at the moment. Then in eighth place. We've lost both Trevor Martin uh, and Steve Powell out of the race. And that's John Powell, Steve's brother in seventh position. And Jim having another good point scoring run here. Jim trying to close in on the top 10 in the championship. There, we, there is Steve Powell, said we've lost him. He's just trying to nurse the truck round into pit lane, which he's done. So fair play, Steve Powell, rather than leave the truck out on, on the track and maybe cause a stoppage, has managed to nurse that machine home and into retirement. Battle for the lead now, down the inside line, throwing it down the inside line is John Bowler. Bowler really going for it. Rivette is forced off the track and in the dirt. Side by side they go. John Bowler's got the lead. Paul Rivette's down to second. So Bowler is the new race leader. Incredible stuff from John Bowler, who started this race fourth on the grid. Paul Rivette started on pole and it's Bowler. Are we going to see another di third different race winner now? We probably will because Rivette's coming back and in. Paul Rivette looking on the inside line. Barely room. Rivette, though, will try and squeeze through. Bit of bodywork goes for a Burton and Rivette squeezes past. And now look at the front of John Bowler's truck now. It looks slightly deranged as Rivette comes through. Now, was that from the earlier contact that we saw? Here we come down into the left hander. The door is hanging off that truck. We might get a black and orange meatball flag for John Bowler to come in, but let, let's hope they play it out to, to right the way through to the end of the race. It's Bowler out front, Paul Rivette in P2. What a physical race these two have had. We used to talk about Paul's uh, Renault Clio Cup days being physical, but the truck racing has been as well. Paul hasn't hasn't given up the uh, opportunity of challenging for the lead, so Rivette all over the back of John Bowler at the moment. John looks quicker at one stage, but now it looks like Paul Rivette is quicker as they run along the straight. John Bowler 
the race leader. Here we come onto the last lap. Both of these machines look like they've been in a real old battle. Luke Garrett, sixth place, so on for decent points again. Brad Smith trying to hunt him down. I beg your pardon, it's Brad in sixth place, Luke Garrett in fifth. So Luke's still nursing the 42 truck a little bit, but he's, he's got a bit of a gap over Brad Smith. But on the clock from the last couple of laps, Brad is closing in, the Unity truck closing in as they go down into Rich's corner once again. Jim Bennett back in eighth place. Again, three championship points, and he's John Powell up ahead of him. But this is the, the last lap, and it's John Bowler out front. Paul Rivette in second place. I think this one, oh, Rivette gets it all sideways there, really trying, driving his heart out, as of course is John Bowler out front, but can't close in. And John Bowler, this is been a, a superb race between these two I get the feeling it will go to the clerk of the course with the contact that we've had and the race fans have been royally entertained Brad Smith's got past Luke Garrett now so Brad Smith fifth Luke Garrett there in sixth place but again still picking up useful championship points remember his, his main rival Steve Powell is out of this race so whatever points Luke Garrett will get here will be a big big bonus and are we going to see a change for second position in the championship before the end of the meeting if Brad Smith can close up. So it's John Bowler in the lead, has now got a little bit of a gap over Paul Rivette in second place. I'm sure they're both going to wind up in front of the clerk of the course after this. So Bowler in the draft ahead of the MAN of Paul Rivette. Eric Forstrom is next up now from Adam Bint. So the Finish driver on for a maiden podium of the weekend from our point of view though whether post judicial it will be John or Paul taking the win it's a third different winner in division two again showing how competitive this category is but we'll call it on the road and it's John Bowler out front there is Paul Rivette running in second position watch for the checkered flag John Bowler coming uphill along center straight there's the checker Bowler takes the win Paul Rivette second, Eric Forstrom is in third, the orange truck was closing up as well, Adam Bint in black is in fourth position with Brad Smith back in fifth. Post race judicial saw Paul Rivette indeed granted the win, John Bowler second from Eric Forstrom and Adam Bint, Brad Smith next up with Luke Garrett, John Powell and Jim Bennett. Talk us through how the damage that we've got happened and what was your reaction when you got out of the truck and saw that? Uh, well, I saw it going round, the door coming, but um, uh, I got into a corner a little bit too quick. Uh, between two corners, me and Paul had a bit of contact, and that's the result. So, yeah, good three podiums so far. We're going well and uh, and enjoying it, you know. The Tacos' truck's been, uh, been fantastic again all weekend, and, uh, you know, we just keep working away and improving it. Third race for Division 1 was fastest off the front, which meant that David Jenkins and Ryan Smith renewed their battle, and they went at it, Hammer and Tom's as they have been doing all season. John Newell slotting into third place in the early stages as the two Arch Championship rivals battled hard. Tom O'Rourke used this race to climb up to joint ninth in the standings, tied now with Stuart Oliver, but it was David Jenkins just ahead of Ryan Smith at the chequered flag. John Newell took third, fastest lap again going to Ryan Smith means that he was equal on points from the race with David Jenkins. So here's how they finished. Jenkins from Smith, John Newell in third, pulling the point back on Mark Taylor for third in the championship. Ray Coleman next from Richard Collett and Tom O'Rourke. Great race result for us. The boys worked really hard between the races. We had a little bit of business to sort in the stewards' room, so that took the focus off a little bit. But the boys applied themselves, sorted the truck out, and gave me what I needed. It's still probably three tenths off my optimal lap time. If we can find those three tenths, then that will make us untouchable. John, congratulations. Another podium, more points in the bag, but it looks a little bit lonely in those closing stages. Yeah, it was. I thought they were going to be a bit more tangling between front two at start, so I was just sitting on back of them waiting for it to happen, and it never happened. So. We just kept, just kept the pace and just kept away from others behind us, and it was quite an easy race, really. Jim, first time we've had a chance to catch up with you this year, and as is tradition, we like to chat to you at your, your home event. How's the season going for you so far? Uh, not too bad. We're sort of roughly in the middle of the sailing, so um, I'm quite happy, really. You know, old, old driver, old truck. Um, 
we, we finished first races, so uh, I can't complain. Great camaraderie with the other drivers, and yeah, you know, we, we have a good battle. And uh, normally I um, tend to be at the back of the field at the end, but uh, I enjoy it so much; it's uh, well worth it. The man we've heard from there, Jim Bennett starts on pole position in the combined grid. Division two's at the front. Jim Bennett next to John Powell, Luke Garrett, Brad Smith, row two, Adam Bint, and Eric Forston next from John Bowler, Paul Rivet, and Trevor Martin. Steve Powell and Simon Cole, of course, early retirements from the meeting. Division one headed by Tom O'Rourke from Rick Collett, then Ray Coleman, Mark Taylor, John Neal, Ryan Smith, and David Jenkins. This one a pursuit race for the division. One trucks who will chase the Div 2 boys, and it's John Powell that leads. Three wide down into Riches. Brad Smith on the outside line. Jim Bennett on the inside. The meat in the sandwich is Luke Garrett. Into Riches they go. Garrett, I think, has made it past Jim Bennett. He has round the outside line as well. And Bennett goes out of bid. It's John Powell, the leader. Luke Garrett looks up to try and pass John Powell. Here come the Division 1 runners ready for their start. Tom O'Rourke on the inside, Richard Collett must fancy his chances of another podium here. Has a good outside run into Riches, does Richard Collett side by side with Tom O'Rourke. The great thing about truck racing for new drivers is that if you're new and you get in the reverse part, you get the opportunity to start off the front. Adam Bint goes sideways, a little bit squirrely from Luke Garrett, who's looking for the lead. Has the speed down into Agostini. Garrett, classic pass there. Inside line, John Powell relegated to second. I was beginning to think if John Powell could hang on for the first couple of laps, you might see a fourth different winner in Division 2. So it's Powell in second, Luke Garrett, who, again, he's pulling points out of the bag here when the truck's not at 100%. Here come the Division 1 runners into Agostini. Mark Taylor on the inside line is third. Great job by the white truck of Tom O'Rourke, who stayed in second position for four or five corners now. John Newell is on the grass there, finds himself at the back of the group. We've got the number two machine of Ray Coleman ahead of David Jenkins as the leaders make their way down the Bentley straight for the first time. I think we've lost Eric Forstrom. Yes, there is Eric, sadly, out of the race. Welcome back to Snetter Turn. We're looking at the battle for second place. It's John Powell second, Paul Rivet third, then Brad Smith in fourth place. Luke Garrett, the race leader. There is Luke just going through shot. This is the Division 2 battle. Division One's trying to close in. You can see that Richard Collett's very nearly caught some of the podium runners in Division 2. And we're, we're early doors in this one. We have lost Eric Forstrom. Sadly, he saw that just before the break. Paul Rivette piling the pressure on. Rivette looking to maintain a 100% podium finishing record this weekend. Had one win as well, but three different winners from Division 2. Superb racing as ever. Brad Smith next up, there is Richard Collett, the lead driver, broken away from the Division 1 runners, so looking very good, Mark Taylor in second, David Jenkins third, then the number two truck of Ray Coleman, and red flags because you'll notice an omission from that group is Ryan Smith, who is off the track with Eric Forstrom, and the officials have decided to stop the race, clear the stricken machines, and then we'll have a restart. <laughs> Luke Garrett, the race leader, a second go here. But look at John Bowler again, bowling down the outside line. Bowler by name, Bowler by nature, up into P2, challenging Luke Garrett. John Bowler wants to grab a win if he possibly can. And it's Luke Garrett that gets the better start. Here come the Division 1 boys. This is going to be a reduced race distance. I'll be surprised if we see a Division 1 truck win overall because they haven't got as much time now to be able to close down on and indeed pass the Division 2 runners, but what a spectacle for the race fans here at Snetterton. And a bit in the mix, you can see the Div 1 boys side by side for the lead. Mark Taylor challenges round the outside of Rick Collett for the lead, but Collett is a wily driver. He knows that he's got the momentum, but so too has Taylor. Taylor's got the lead. Division 2 lead, an overall race lead at the moment with Luke Garrett. And they come down into Agostini. It's John Bowler in second, very, very rapid off the start. John Powell is third at the moment, and Luke Garrett here, despite, again, I make no apology for saying this, not having an on-song truck, could find himself bagging a second win of the meeting. Dave Jenkins exploring 
the opportunities to get up into third. Rick Collett looking on the inside line now of Mark Taylor to challenge for the Division 1 lead. Here are the Division 2 runners. Luke Garrett leads, John Bowler second. Fifth back in fourth place. Paul Rivet is fifth. Jim Bennett's still there as well. And we wait for the leading runners to come through. It is Rick Collett now in lead position. Mark Taylor will try and fight back. Ray Coleman is third. Runs a bit wide there, does Coleman. And that could open up the door for Dave Jenkins, who we've already seen pull off an outside pass on the way down into the corner where the Division Two runners are. So Garrett's still there. John Bowler challenging hard. Paul Rivet now, I think, is in fourth place. So one place shy of a 100% podium record here as Luke Garrett runs a little bit wide. John Bowler trying to hunt him down for the overall lead. This is an absolute cracker, isn't it? You've got two races going on and both of the both halves of the field, remember, starting from reverse grid position. So this is the magic of truck racing at its very best. Garrett in front, John Bowler second. A little bit of a gap now over Paul Rivet, who's got up into third. John Powell fourth. Adam Bint in fifth position from Brad Smith. Jim Bennett still with Brad Smith as well. Good race here from Jim. Here is our race leader in Division 1, Richard Collett from Mark Taylor. Then it is David Jenkins. Across the line they go. Jenkins here with an opportunity to slash 15 points. Maybe 16 if he gets the fastest lap and the win away from Ryan Smith's championship lead. Smith on 3-3-6 by my maths coming into this race from... David Jenkins 307, Mark Taylor 238, John Newell 234. It looks like Mark Taylor's going to have the upper hand there. Division two, very close indeed. Apart from uh, Steve Garrett being ahead of Steve Powell, Brad Smith is third on 235. Brad could go into second in the championship here, but Brad Smith on 235. John Bowler down the inside of Jim Bennett goes Richard Collett. Third, fourth, and fifth in the championship division two. Brad Smith 235, John Bowler 231, Paul Rivet 230. Very close for third place, the bronze medal position in division two. As we now look, Jim Bennett coming under pressure from David Jenkins. Jim knows that Jenks has got the quicker truck, leaves the door open. Great driving by Jim Bennett. And now side by side there, Ray Coleman nipping through on the inside line. Running a little bit wide is Mark Taylor. Good stuff from Ray Coleman. He's looking to try and get a podium this weekend as well. Haven't seen him up there so far. This could be the opportunity for him to do it. Richard Collett now the race leader in Division 1, but coming under pressure from David Jenkins. Jenks trying to close down on him to bag another win this weekend. There is Jenkins on the inside line of Brad Smith. Remember the Division 1 boys have to deal with the Division 2 trucks up front as well as squabbling amongst themselves. It's uh, multitasking for these drivers. Still Luke Garrett out front. Paul Rivette's got the fastest lap in Division 2. David Jenkins has fastest lap in Division 1. But it's Luke Garrett who is the race leader. Jenkins here trying to close down on Richard Collett. Well, we said that Collett was uh, hopeful of a podium here from starting on the front row of the grid. Can he hold on and maybe take a Division 1 race win after all the problems he's had so far this year? It will be richly deserved as out of Murray's corner once again comes Luke Garrett, the overall and Division 2 race leader. Paul Rivet in third. John Powell fourth in class at the moment in Division 2. Now Richard Collett, as you can see, will be to some extent looking in his mirrors at Jenkins, but also looking ahead at the Division 2 runners. John Neal getting stuck in. We're on to the last lap of this second half of the race. The red flag first part gave us the grid for the second part as Adam Bint goes on the outside line. Richard Collett through on the inside. David Jenkins still pretty close. Few drivers picking up the last lap board. I think Luke Garrett should have done enough to take the uh, overall win, although John Bowler's still busy challenging him. As you can see now, this is the battle for the Division 1 win. Richard Collett out front with David Jenkins closing down. Jenks would dearly love that extra point. He's got the fastest lap at the moment. As Luke Garrett comes towards us ahead of John Bowler, you'd have to say it would have to be a major problem for Garrett to lose that. Loss of power, maybe a spin. We have seen him have issues at this meeting now as through go the Division 1 leaders past John Powell. 
Collett taking a nice tight line into Agostini. David Jenkins going wide. Might give Jenks a bit of a run. Tail end happy there is Richard Collett under massive pressure at the moment. Jenkins trying everything that he can to close in. Out of Hamilton, up to Oggy's corner. There is Jim Bennett. Jim running seventh position in Division Two. Going to pick up more good points here. And this is the battle for the Division One league. Collett still there. Jenkins closes up. Jenks again, as we said earlier in the meeting, won't want to risk losing 14 points by doing a rash move to challenge for the lead. I'm wondering where he's going to have the ability to go past. Here comes the outright leader, Luke Garrett out front. John Bowler is second, Paul Rivette is a little bit distant, but still in third place. And it's been a remarkable weekend for Rivette. If he holds on where he is, it'll be four podia out of four. And closing in on Rivette, the Division 1 battle, Collett still there from David Jenkins. Looks like Collett might have got the measure of David Jenkins here to grab a win. So it's going to be three different winners in Division 2, three different winners this weekend in Division 1 as well. But look at John Bowler. John Bowler's having a go and closing up here on Luke Garrett. This could be about the run towards the chequered flag. Out of Murray's corner, he's chasing hard. Paul Rivette, I think, is closing in as well. And now David Jenkins putting pressure on Richard Collett as they come up towards the chequered flag. Luke Garrett's held on to take the win. John Bowler second. Paul Rivette will be third. Jenkins is having a go. Up to the flag, side by side. And Richard Richard Collett takes his first win of the year from David Jenkins. What a finish to our Snetterton truck finale here. Superb racing from Division 1 and Division 2. Here's how they finish. Garrett from Bowler and Rivette. Richard Collett winning Division 1 from David Jenkins and Ray Coleman on the podium. Then John Powell, Mark Taylor, John Neal, Tom O'Rourke out of big Brad Smith to be Bennett in 13. Luke, congratulations. Good way to finish the weekend. Obviously a shortened race, but a win, great point. Yeah, it's been a bit of an up and down weekend for us, but um, yeah, to finish on a on a on a, on a like a win is, is really good for us. Yeah, John was catching me near the end, but then obviously um, because I've seen the last lap board, I just just backed off a little bit, obviously because to uh, to be winning and uh, make a mistake on the last lap would uh, is certainly <laughs> would be bloody shocking. Good run to the end of the season, hopefully in planning. And uh, what what are your thoughts on Pembroke? Uh, looking forward to Pembroke, it's always a, a good track for us, Tuswood. Um, and uh, so we're there, we've got Pembury and um, we've got Pembury and we've got Brands Hatch. We are, and we'll also be at Zolder next weekend during the FIA round. Ricky Collett, how good does it feel to be back on the top step of the podium? Boom, yeah, brilliant that. <laughs> I, knew I, I just had to keep him off for that lap, that's all I had to do. Yeah, that was great that. They told me on the uh, radio they were coming. So I thought, no mistakes, just just keep in front. <laughs> makes all the hard makes all the hard work worthwhile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the lads again during the thing we built in a lot of settings and it made it a lot better to drive. We still got some way to go because they did make some ground on me on that up, up the start finish straight. But yeah, I, I just thought, don't make any mistakes now. Let's just get around this last corner, and drag race to the to the line. Nice one. Welcome back. We'll see you on the podium. Thank you very much. Cheers. Hey, nice to see you back on the podium. Uh, truncated race, but nonetheless gruelling, I dare say. Yeah, no, it was uh, good to be back on the podium. But yeah, it was hard. It was a hard race, especially with a break in between with a red flag. And then sitting there in the care for must have been, well, it seemed like hours, but probably 20 minutes. So it was absolutely melted out there. So it was good to get going again. But yeah, it was a good result. Happy with it. Championship table looks like this. Ryan Smith just 14 points clear now of David Jenkins. Mark Taylor is still in third ahead of John Neal. Ray Coleman, the man we just heard from in fifth. Richard Collett up into sixth. Division two, Luke Garrett, 72 point lead now over joint second, John Bowler and Brad Smith. With Paul Rivet in fourth. Well, there we are, the conclusion of another sensational round of truck racing for the 2019 MV Commercial British Truck Racing Association Championship. The race winners for our final combined race, Ricky Collett in Division 1, Luke Garrett, the championship leader in Division 2. We're going to regroup at Pembrey in a few weeks' time, and we hope you'll join us there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.